I'll just ask you, did you brief, brief President Obama on any calls involving Michael Flynn? I'm not going to get into either that particular case, that matter, or any conversations I had with the president, so I can't answer that. Well, Director Comey, there's been some speculation uh, this morning on motive. Um, I'm not all that interested in motive. First of all, it's really hard to prove. Secondarily, you never have to prove it. But I get that people want to know. I, I get the jury all wants, always wants to know why. I think you and I can agree there are a couple of reasons that you would not have to unlawfully, feloniously disseminate classified material. It certainly wasn't done to help an ongoing criminal investigation because you already had the information, didn't you? Again, I can't answer in the context of this particular matter. How about in theory? Is, is, is there something a reporter would have access to that the head of the FBI would not? Sorry for me to answer. I would hope not when it relates to the I FBI. would hope not, too, since it's part of our surveillance programs. I would hope that you had access to everything as the head of the world's premier law enforcement agency. I would hope that you had it all. So if you had it all, the motive couldn't have been to help you because you already had it. And Admiral Rogers, the motive couldn't have been to help you because you already had it. So in the universe of possible motives for the felonious dissemination of classified material, we could rule out wanting to help the intelligence communities and the law enforcement communities. Those are two motives that are gone now. That leaves some more nefarious motives. Is the investigation into the leak of classified information, has it begun yet? I can't say because I don't want to confirm that that was classified information. Well, I'm, I'm, I don't want to quarrel with you, Director Comey, and I, I do understand that you cannot ordinarily confirm or deny the existence of an investigation. But you did it this morning, citing DOJ policy, given the gravity of the fact pattern. Would you not agree that surveillance programs that are critical, indispensable, vital to our national security, some of which are up for reauthorization this fall, that save American lives and prevent terrorist attacks also rises to the level of important. I think those programs are vital and leaks of information collected pursuant to court order under those programs are terrible. And as I said in my opening statement, should be taken very, very seriously. What I don't ever want to do is compound what bad people have done and confirm something that's in the newspaper. Because sometimes newspaper gets it right. There's a whole lot of wrong information about allegedly about classified activities that's in the newspaper, we don't call them and correct them either. That's another big challenge, but we just don't go anywhere near it because we don't want to help and compound the offense that was committed. I understand that, Director Comey, and I'm trying really hard not to get you to discuss the facts at bar. But some of the words that appeared in this public reporting include the word transcript, which has a very unique use in the matters that you and I are discussing this morning. That is a very unique use of that word. Wiretap has a very specific meaning. The name of a U.S. citizen that was supposed to statutorily be protected is no longer protected. So some of this reporting, let's assume 90% of it is inaccurate. That other 10% is still really, really important. And to the extent that you can rely on the dates in either the Washington Post or the New York Times, we are talking about February of this year is when the reporting first took place. So we are, we're a month and a half or two months into something that you and I agree is incredibly important and also happens to be a felony. So I'm just simply asking you to assure the American people, you've already assured them you take it really seriously. Can you assure them that it is going to be investigated? I can't, but I hope, I hope people watching know how seriously we take leaks of classified information. But I don't want to confirm it by saying that we're investigating it. And I'm sorry I have to draw that line. I just think that's the right way to be. Well, I, I'm not going to argue with you, Director Comey, but it is, you know, we're going to discuss a lot of important things today. Whether Russia attempted to influence our democratic process is incredibly important. Whether they sought to influence it, it's a separate analysis, incredibly important. The motive behind that interference and influence, incredibly important.
best response, incredibly important. Some of that may rise to the level of a crime. Some of it does not rise to the level of crime. One thing you and I agree on is the felonious dissemination of class, classified material most definitely is a crime. So I, I, I would ask you, and I understand some of the procedures that you are up against, I, I, would, I would humbly ask you to, to seek authority from whomever you need to seek authority from. Because I'm going to finish the same way I started. This is an agreement between the American people and its government. We are going to, we the American people give certain powers to government to keep us safe. And when those powers are misused, and the motive is not criminal investigations or national security, then I'll bet you my fellow citizens are rethinking their side of the equation. Because that U.S. citizen could be them next time. It could be you. It could be me. It could be anyone. Until we start seriously investigating and prosecuting what Congress thought was serious enough to attach a 10-year felony to. With that, I would yield back, Mr. Chairman. Can I, can I just add a, a response to what you said? I agree with you, Mr. Gowdy. Two things folks at home should know. First, an unauthorized disclosure of FISA is an extraordinarily unusual event, so be assured we're going to take it very seriously because our trust with the American people and the federal judges that oversee our work is vital. And second, that this conversation has nothing to do with 702. Folks often mix them together. 702 is about targeting non-U.S. persons overseas. Pursuant to the FISA statute, the FBI can apply to collect electronic surveillance in the United States, but it's a different thing from 702. The conversation you and I are just having is about this, which is vital and important, but I just didn't want to leave folks confused. Director Comey, you are 100 percent correct, and I am 100 percent correct in saying that that is a distinction that doesn't make a difference to most of the people watching television. You are exactly correct. What we are reauthorizing this fall has nothing to do with what we are discussing other than it is another government program where the people consent to allow government to pursue certain things with the explicit promise it will be protected. So you're right, they're different. But in the eyes of people watching, it is the U.S. government officials leaking the name of a U.S. citizen. And if it can happen here, it may happen there. Trust me, you and I both want to see it reauthorized. It is in jeopardy if we don't get this resolved.